Hey guys, this is Nate Jackson here with the next tutorial. Now we're going to cover the post perfect module and many of the things that I said about the party crasher also apply to the post perfect module. You have the same basic uh, layout of parameters. Uh, you can vary the number of posts that you make in a day. You can vary the time interval between the number of posts. You can vary the number of posts that you make before you take a break and you can vary the length of the break and it's the same uh, as far as the randomization and humanization. So basically operationally they're they're the same. One just uh, goes to each group and joins for you and post perfect goes to each group and makes a post for you. Now one of the most powerful parts of uh, post perfect is the fact that you can spin your content and that means that if you're not familiar with spinning content that means that you can use a certain you can write your message a certain way so that each group that you post to gets a different message posted to it and there's many ways that you can vary that I'm going to show you a, a simple example and then I'm also going to give you a few links that you can use to follow up for more information to learn how to spin your content so we're going to create a message a spun message that says we're just going to put some test messages Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is write your first message. And I'm going to say this is test message number one. Okay, number one. Okay, so then once you want to put another message, you want to use the pipe symbol, which is the, you want to hold down shift key, the shift key, and then hit the button over the enter key. And that will create that vertical line. It's called a pipe. So then you write your next message. This is message number two. N number dos. Number two. Dos. We're going to go with dos. Okay. So now, so right now we have a possibility of two messages that will appear. And if we want to do another one, we just put another pipe symbol. And this is message. number trois. Okay, so we have three messages and we're going to vary between each of these three messages. So, and you can also add a link if you want. If you want to vary the messages and then use one link, you would do you can do that. So, I'll put the create automate So, it will vary these three messages each time because the this is being spun inside these brackets and then it will only use this one link because it's not being spun so and on the outside of the the messages that you're going to spin you have to put the curly brackets and those are the you, you have the square brackets and the curly brackets the curly brackets you have to hold down the shift key and hit the two buttons next to the letter p on your keyboard so you enclose it in the curly brackets. Now if I wanted to vary the links, I would just do the same thing. I would put a pipe symbol and then put my second link. Okay. So now not only am I varying the message, I'm also varying, and then you put the curly bracket on the outside of what you're spinning. So now, not only am I varying the uh, links, uh, not only am I varying the message, I'm also varying the links. And you can you can do that, or you could put the link inside here, and just send a completely different message, and not vary, not combine the links with the the message. You can do it any number of ways. So, but I'm not going to get too deep into that. I'm just going to give you an overview and you can figure out how you, what works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay. So I'm going to set this down to one minute uh, for illustra illustrative purposes. I wouldn't recommend, I recommend the same thing with the party crasher. Just start on the default settings until 
you uh, get a good indication that it's working safely for you. Each each person is going to be different because it depends on the maturity of your account. So I always say start with the default settings because that has worked well for uh, uh, most accounts. So let's see. So we're going to choose a file. Well, first, before we do that, I'm going to run the group group gorilla and I'm going to pull my groups. So we're going to find my groups, even though we've, we've already done that. We're going to do it again just to show you what you need to do. Find your, get your latest list of groups and you know just use that file. Or if you want to pull out certain groups based on the fact that you don't want to post to them, then you should you should probably do that. So we're going to see what this account has because this is actually a different account than I've used from the previous videos. Okay, so this this account belongs to 314 groups. So we can go to that group. We can go to that list of groups. Uh, documents, FBVA groups, my groups. Okay. So I'm going to show you how if you want to uh, kind of filter out the groups that you want to post to. I recommend if you don't have Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet program, I recommend you download a program called, called Open Office Calc. You can find that at SourceForge. I think dot com or off OpenOffice dot org. And so you want to open the file. Just right click on the file. Open with Open Office Calc. I mean, if you have Excel, then you're good to go. This is free and it works just as well. So that's what I use. So now it's going to. Oh, I went to the URL. I went to the wrong file. We want to open the table. I want to open with Open Office Calc. Okay. And so it's going to be tabulated. You're going to have the URL and you're going to have the group name. So you can use the group name uh, to kind of filter out what you don't want to post to. And I'm going to uh, find some more parameters that I can add in here to help you get a better idea. I think I have uh, open groups and closed groups I can pick from and some other th parameters I can pull from. So we're going to run a filter, uh, data filter, auto filter. And we're going to find so we're going to find the groups that say uh, yeah so that column equal contains virtual assistant virtual okay so I'm going to pull these few URLs all of my test groups. I'm going to copy those and put those into a separate text file. And so now we're going to run through the test files to post to. So we're going to put that in my documents just for uh, now we'll put it in go to FBVA groups my groups and we'll call it FBVA test dot txt. Uh, yeah, test. Okay, so save that. So these are the groups. So that's a good way to filter out groups that you want to post to. And so we're going to pick that file. So I'll go to, to my groups, FBVA test. And so we're going to click post. Oh, you have to choose the post perfect module first. So pick post perfect and then click post and it's going to start running. It's set at pick 21 groups. It kind of randomized it. I'm going to do 100 groups a day. And we're, there's only 16 files in that list, so the total number remaining is 16. So and once 
we post, make the post, first post, this is going to update to the actual number left. So we're going to go down here and see it's it's printing the content now. It put this is message number dose, which is the second message, and it put the createautomate.com link. So it picked from one of these options and it picked from one of these options. It's going to sit here for a second and then it's going to flash a few times and then it's going to post. It's flashing, flashing, flashing. And this should be it. There, there it is. Okay, so it posted. And uh, now it's going to wait a second. It's going to say post completed, posting to the next group in 49, 48, 47 seconds. And so that's, that's pretty much how it works. So it's going to wait that amount of time, and it's going to cycle to the next group, and it's going to do it all again. And like I, just like with the party crasher, if you are already... If you cannot post to a group, then it's going to move on to the next group. There's some groups that you're a member of, and even though you're a member of that group, the admins won't sometimes won't let allow members to post to the, to their groups. So if that's the case, then it's going to sit and wait about 10 seconds or so, and then okay, here's the next next message. This is message number two. And the second, the next URL, uh, createautomate.com forward slash FBVA. So it just does that randomly. It, it generates, uh, it, it randomly picks which one from each group it's going to to post. So you get a little bit of variety and just a, a way to throw Facebook off your, off your uh, trail because you, they see you're not doing the same thing every time. And you're doing it at different time intervals. And you're doing it. Uh, you're taking breaks, so it looks really, it looks really uh, normal to them. As long as you stay within something that's reasonable, and with settings that it's possible that a, a human could be sitting there doing it. There's nothing out. There's nothing that this is doing that is outside of the realm of what's possible for a human to do. So now, while this is running, this next break, I'm going to actually add a photo. I'm going to add a photo to the to the post. I'm going to leave it running. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to pick a random photo. I really don't. I'll, I'll I know where to go. I'll pick a. I'll get the logo. The logo. Let's see. Okay. So create automate logo. Okay. So now this time it's going to add a photo the same way that it's going to behave the same way as if you were posting a photo. It's going to pick the text, it's going to pick the link, and this time instead of showing the preview of the website like we do here, it's going to post the photo that I just uploaded, which is going to be the Create Automate logo. It's the blue background and three gears. You've seen it over and over again because I put it everywhere. So we're just going to watch what it does. It's going to start typing. It waits. Uh, it gets to the group and just sits there, just like a human would. Uh, someone who's not uh, just copy paste, copy paste, but someone who's actually maybe could possibly be interacting with the group. Okay, so see, it clicks the link, and it's gonna click the next link uh, to upload a photo or a video. It's gonna click that link, and then it's taking its time. It's doing, you know, what what. A person would do. There it is. It's it's uploading the photo. There's the picture that we're going to post. Then it's going to start typing the text. Which let's see which message it posts for us. Give it a second. This is message number dose. So we're spinning messages, and we're actually spinning three languages: English, French, and Spanish. How about that? <laughs> so. And we put the second link again, uh, FBVA. So it's waiting, and it's going to post this picture with the website. There it is. So there we go. So it's, we posted in a few groups, three different messages, one with two with all three with links, one without 
one with a picture, the other two with the website previews. And if you wanted to just post text, it would do that for you just as well. Just don't put a link in there. So you have all the flexibility and freedom that you would have if you were doing this manually. And it does it at a reasonable rate with randomization. And the spinning gives it even more randomization. You have randomization with the timing as well. And it looks really human. It's not, you're not going to a page for for two seconds and posting links everywhere. You're going there for a reasonable amount of time to be there. You know, 15, 20, 30 seconds. You're typing your message in, adding your link, uploading your photo, sitting there, you know, browsing around, and then you're going to go ahead and post it and move on to the next group. You're going to wait a while and, and go to the next group. So it's a really human, realistic way for you to automate your posting to groups. And it's switching to the next group now. But we're not going to we're not going to go to the next group because I think you get the idea. Okay, so now we're going to go to we're going to go to the graph search, graph search or lead scout. I guess we'll go to the graph search. Might combine it into one. I don't know. We'll see how long it is. But anyway, this is getting too long, and I'm rambling. So this is Nate Jackson signing out. I'll see you on the next video.